It was five years ago when we were last here in South Devon to visit the company Axminster Tools. Now we're here at Axminster Tools. Now back then they were expanding their machine shop and buying new machines. So let's go see what they've been up to. Five years on, Ian, and we're not even in the same building we were in five years ago. So before we go into everything that's happened, which is so exciting, what is it that Axminster Tools do? Well, we've, we make a number of components, primarily in very niche markets. Uh, one is wood turning, the other one is high quality uh, woodworking accessories. So you're creating components for your products here on site. How has this grown? Well, it's grown, grown dramatically. I mean, uh, if, if you can get the, the, the quality right and the price right, the, the two go hand in hand. You can't have the ultimate quality and the ultimate price because yeah, it's a very small market. So you have to combine the two. And I think on our wood turning, especially, which is where it first started, we produced probably some of the finest centers for wood turning lathes all over the world uh, and for our own uh, consumption as well in our own machines. Um, and, and they are built to a high quality. You know. To be able to produce a revolving centre for about four pounds and ten pence is is quite an amazing feat. It really is. I've seen some of your components around as well. Your kits. Yeah. So what's happened? Five years on, you're expanding. What what is the market demanding from you now? Then. Well, the market is always uh, is always after some innovative product. It's also very keen on high quality product. You know, the market has been awash for many years with low quality uh, products from around the world. And I think, you know, the woodworker in general is a very discerning uh, craftsman and they, they appreciate quality. They almost treat them like your woodworker's jewellery, if you can imagine. That's what we make. Absolutely. It's the tools that they're using. So five years ago, when we were here, yeah. you were sending work out. It was going out to Poland, then you brought it back. It was going out to China, you brought it back. Is a lot more happening in-house now? Uh, we, we send very little out now. Uh, obviously, we, we're looking to look after our IP. Um, and people like the, the words made in Axminster, which has always been synonymous with quality. Yeah, carpet sector. absolutely. Now, why the star machines? What is it that the stars are doing that work with your, um, your company ethos? Okay, well, the, the first star we had was a, a 32, a relatively small um, component manufacturer. It's still the busiest machine. And in our forward plans forward, you know, we have a, a wish for two more small stars. Uh, they're on the board, always the busiest machine. The bigger machines um, are obviously way more complex, but the beauty of a star in our mind is that you can create a complex component, feeds in this bar at one end, and out comes the component at the other end. Finished, deburred, ready to go into production. So apart from maybe needing a, a, a good wash, uh, it's ready to go, uh, to be packed and sent to the customer. So I guess it's similar to your story from five years ago, reducing the operations off in one. So why are you then expanding with Star? Where is your route? Where is your future? Well, our future is, is mass production. So we have really got some very high volume products going through. And of course, we have to keep inventing those. You can't keep doing the same old, same old. Otherwise, <clears throat> before you know it, you're going to be uh, it, things are going to be getting quieter and quieter. So you've got to keep innovating. And I think that's that's where we're at. We're, we're very much in touch with our customer base. Uh, we know what our customers like. And um, you know, we're trying to lead by example. If you're following, uh, you're in the wrong You're place. behind. You've got to be leading. So why do these machines work with that then? Why do stars help you innovate? Well, because really the, the speed time, the, the, which we're able to put on, uh, onto a, a, a machine. So some of our fastest product could be as, as quick as 25 seconds. Some of them, the most complex one we do is three minutes, three minutes 20. That is an amazingly complex uh, piece of, uh, uh, of engineering. And um, you know, the, the, the actual finished price, because you've got your machine time and your material, um, and you've got you know, obviously inspection there, but it's what you can get through a star. That's that's what we really like. Feed in bar, out comes the finished product. So just before we finish this up, where are your goals? Because because you said about expanding the fleet. Okay, so we have a, a, an ambitious three million pound expansion program. Here, I think we're technologically advanced and uh, 
of course, we're ahead of the game when it comes to design. You absolutely are. You know, my excitement is I hope I can come back here in five years and see that expansion plan from what you were five years ago to now to then. Well, I think we'll back. see you back before then. Absolutely. So. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. Thank you very much.